Last week, scholars gathered at the Princeton Club in Midtown for a panel discussion of Einstein's so-called God letter. At a cocktail party afterward, they talked about the scientists' sense of his Jewishness and about how, in a way, God kept following him around, or questions about God did. It's a very special letter. It was written in uh, early 1954, which was close to the last year of his life. Einstein, by that point, knew that anything that he wrote down ultimately would be shared with the world. It's almost, in a way, a unified field theory of his own conception of religion and morality. These are issues that people are incredibly invested in. They feel like an enormous amount of their identity is tied up with their particular attitudes towards religion, towards science. He's not trashing the Bible. He's calling it primitive, but he also uses the word venerable. So he understands that the Bible is a work of some value. He just probably didn't believe it to be taken literally, as some people do. Einstein said many things about religion, about God, throughout his life. It's not surprising that what he said in the 1920s contradicts what he says in the 1950s. It is not the final answer about what God is, or even, I think, what Einstein thought about God. The fact of the matter is, Einstein's expertise in physics and in the ability to understand the force of gravity and the nature of space and time and matter and energy doesn't give him any special insight into the nature of God. It's an interesting opinion and perspective to hear, but it's not as though it is the ultimate word and the final answer on the subject. In what way did his Jewishness enter into what he was able to accomplish? He was willing to overturn, you know, the whole edifice of Newtonian physics. How do you explain that? How do you explain this guy? Einstein had a terrible time in school. His professors hated him. And it was partly, he always felt, because of anti-Semitism. So here you are, your professors, you know, the ones who are handing down the laws of nature to you, to everything. And they are prisoners of their bias. And how do you know this? Because you're a Jewish boy. That might give you, coupled with genius, right, the audacity to say, you know, why should I trust Newton? <laughs>